Hi, welcome back to Dr. O'Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. And in today's video, we're going to be covering all the key points you need to know about a medication known as finasteride, also called by its brand names Proscar or Propecia. In this video, we're going to be covering what finasteride is and why you might take it. We'll then look at common strengths of tablets. Thirdly, we'll look at how and when to take it and what to do if you forget to take it or if you take too much medication by accident. Fourthly, we'll cover common and important side effects that you need to be aware of. And finally, we'll go over some commonly asked questions such as how long does it take to work? Can I take it with certain foods and drinks and key take home messages? But before we get into the main section of the video, please do remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for new medical education videos, which I publish every week. So let's start off the video by covering what finasteride is and why you might take it. Well, finasteride belongs to a class of medications called 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, and it works by stopping testosterone, which is a sex hormone, turning into another hormone called dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. DHT can cause your prostate to grow bigger. It can also stop your hair growing. For this reason, it's used to treat men with an enlarged prostate, which is a medical term referred to as benign prostatic hypertrophy, or BPH for short. Finasteride can help ease your symptoms if you're a male and you're finding it difficult to start peeing, you need to pee urgently or more often, or it's difficult to empty your bladder completely. Finasteride comes as tablets, and in the UK, it's available on prescription only. So if you need to take it, you'll need to speak to your doctor before being able to be prescribed it. Finasteride can also be used to treat men for hair loss or male pattern baldness, but if you want to take it for hair loss, you'll need to get finasteride on a private prescription in the UK. This means you'll need to pay the full cost of the medicine because it's not available at the moment when we're making this video on the NHS. The medicine is generally not recommended for women, but it might be prescribed by a specialist doctor only in very rare cases. So now we know a little bit more about finasteride, well, what doses are typically given? So for an enlarged prostate or BPH, the usual dose is five milligrams taken once a day. For hair loss, the usual dose is one milligram taken once a day, but the exact dosings are going to depend on the individual. Once you start taking finasteride, you'll usually take it for a long time. And by this, I mean several months or even years. So let's move on and cover how you take finasteride. Well, in practical terms, you can take finasteride with or without food. It typically doesn't really matter what time of day you take it, but make sure that you take it around the same time each day. And when you take it, swallow your tablets whole with a drink of water. It's important not to break or crush the tablets. And this is a really important point, especially for pregnant women, because the medicine can pass through the skin and potentially harm an unborn baby. Now, some people will ask what to do if I forget to take my medicine. Well, it's, if it's less than six hours since you're due to take it, take your finasteride as soon as you remember. If it's more than six hours since your dose was due, skip the missed dose and take the next one at the usual time. It's important not to take a double dose to make up for a forgotten dose. If you forget doses often, then it may help to set an alarm on something like your phone to remind you. You could also ask your pharmacist for advice on other ways to help you to remember to take your medicine if you're taking lots of different medicines. And what about if you accidentally take too much of the medication? Well, finasteride is considered to generally be a very safe medication and taking slightly too much by accident is unlikely to harm you. But if you do have any concerns, again, speak to a pharmacist. Now that we've discussed the practical aspects of how to take finasteride, let's go over some possible side effects. So in this subsection of the video, I'm not going to cover every possible side effect because this list would be far too long and you can find all of this information on the information leaflet on the inside of the medicine pack. Instead, I'm going to be going over common as well as serious side effects. So first of all, let's start off with the common side effects, which happen in more than one in 100 people, and they usually improve after a while. There are two main problems here. So firstly, problems getting an erection or less interest in having sex. And secondly, problems with ejaculating, such as little or no semen. However, talk to your doctor or pharmacist if these side effects bother you or don't go away. 
Serious side effects are rare, and these happen in less than one in a thousand people. Some people may notice these side effects after taking finasteride for a few months, and you should make sure that you speak to your doctor if you get any lumps, pain, or swelling in your chest area or discharge from your nipples. That's because these may be signs of a serious condition such as breast cancer. And remember, men can be affected by breast cancer as well as women. Unusually low moods or things like depression or thoughts of harming yourself are also possible rare but serious side effects. Again, speak to your doctor if you're feeling like any of these are happening. In terms of serious side effects, while well, some people very rarely can get a major allergic reaction to finasteride known as anaphylaxis. This is where the lips, tongue, and mouth swell up. If you find that you're developing these symptoms, make sure you call an ambulance immediately. So how long does it take for finasteride to work? Well, you may notice an improvement a little while after you start to take finasteride. For an enlarged prostate, it can take up to six months for this medicine to take full effect. And for hair loss, you should expect to see some improvement after three to six months. In terms of eating and drinking, well, you can drink alcohol within the normal safe limits and you can eat and drink as normal when taking finasteride. However, if you're taking a herbal supplement called St. John's Wort, this can cause finasteride to stop working as well as it's supposed to. So please let your doctor know if you are taking this supplement. So to wrap up the video with some key points, remember that you'll usually only take finasteride tablets once a day. The main side effects are losing interest in sex and difficulty in getting an erection as well as ejaculation problems. Finasteride can affect the results of PSA testing, which is a blood test to check for prostate cancer. It's also important to be aware that if you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant, do not touch crushed or broken finasteride tablets because if the tablets are broken, the medicine can pass through your skin and it can potentially harm an unborn baby. So I hope the video was useful and informative. If you did find it useful, please remember to like it. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you've got any questions, I tried to respond to everyone. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and until next time, bye.